best tea ever. To the people who don't look like this after they work out, how? Takes my face a while to calm down after workouts. I'm feeling so much better today. And like, just ever since I posted my last video, um, if you haven't seen it, I mean, you don't have to go watch it, but I just explained kind of what I've been going through. I did relapse last week. Um, and ever since posting that video, I've just felt so much better. I think a lot of the shame came from you guys not knowing. And a lot of the stress came from, you know, how am I going to articulate this? How am I going to tell people? And also the stress of and the worry that I had that I was going to trigger people by, by saying that I relapsed, like trigger others to relapse. But now that that video is out of the way and that I've come clean about it, I feel so much better just with all the positive comments and the positive support that I got on it. I don't know I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting support, but just the overwhelming amount of messages and comments that that video got um, really blew me away. And just the amount of people telling me not to be so hard on myself. And watching the video back, I do realize like how hard I am on myself. And that's something that I think in the video I mentioned, I really want to work on myself and, and take care of myself. And I think part of that a big part of that is taking care of my mind by not being so hard on myself. I'm human. I made it two years without drinking. That's like a major accomplishment. And I think mistakes are just how we learn. And so thank you all so much for just helping me see that and helping me realize I just don't need to be so hard on myself. It was one mistake. I don't need to reset my days. I'm still a sober person just because I drank once doesn't mean i'm not a sober person i'm still pursuing sobriety so overall i just feel so much better um and thank you to everyone who's reached out i have so many dms that um i'm i get anxiety about it my friends know that i'm the worst texter just because like text messages stress me out my face is still so red i have a lot of errands to run today and i'm actually very excited about it i have an entire saturday to myself i literally do not remember the last time that happened to me i have the entire weekend to myself actually I'm going to run errands that i've been meaning to get to but just haven't because i've been so busy right now i want to make pancakes i love making pancakes on the weekends um but i don't have any chocolate chips and those make or break my pancakes so what i've been doing this has happened to me before I have a Whole Foods that's like a decent walk away. It's like not that long is what I mean. But I have a gas station right there, like right by my apartment that has M&Ms. So I'm just gonna do that. It's quicker and I've done it before and it's really good, so. kind of do so i have a ton of errands to run today and i'm just trying to figure out like what the best plan of action is to like what's around what so i'm like looking at maps to see what places are close together just so i can save gas and i don't have to keep like drive as much so i have a hair appointment today i have to drop off that package at fedex drop off my library book which is overdue and then I want to go thrift shopping and plant shopping, but I don't know if that's like too much for today. <laughs> I might see what time it is and maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but I think it might be fun. I think it will just depend how I feel after my hair appointment. Sometimes those take it out of me. It's not, it shouldn't be too long today though. Get all my stuff ready. These are the shoes I bought, <laughs> but they're one size too big. They're my size, they're an eight, but my toe literally comes to like right here. So I just ordered them in a size down, but 
And then I got slides, but I accidentally got them in men's. So I need to get them in women's. <laughs> I'm prepping my bag for the day, just with all my errands and stuff. I have a lot of stuff I need to bring. I'm getting these film cameras developed. I just spent like the last 20 minutes trying to decide what to wear. And it's really frustrating because I've been having the most difficult time getting dressed lately. Um, there's a video coming out soon about why. But essentially I've just gained weight from my eating disorder recovery and that's a good thing, but I don't feel good in anything that I wear. And I like don't have any casual clothes. Like all my clothes are either sweats or like going out clothes. And so I've just had a difficult time with getting dressed. Um, anything cropped and that's like over half my closet, I don't like to wear anymore. So this is what we settled on. <laughs> There's a bunch of people walking around in really like nice dresses. I think it might be like prom, what? April, end of April? I feel like that makes sense. I just got done out of my hair appointment. My hair is wet because I was so late that she didn't have time to dry it. And that was definitely, or that is obviously my fault. But that was a stressful, past hour and a half of my life just like trying to get um to the appointment I truly thought I was gonna be so early and then I left later because of the clothes situation so I wanted to debrief that real quick because I feel like I was so frazzled that I just wasn't really making sense but I've gained weight over the past few months and I'm actually making an entire video on that um which will be coming soon. I've already filmed it, I just have to edit it. But the last time I tried to edit it, I started spiraling, so I took a break. <laughs> you know, it's hard when none of your clothes fit you. So for the past few months when I get changed, I whenever I try and put something nicer on, you know, that's not usually my hoodie and, and leggings, um, I don't feel good in anything I wear because all my clothes are like slightly too small now and some of them are way too small and it feels like things I just bought like two months ago are small so it just really affects my mood and affects my confidence um really anytime I try and get dressed so that's how I was feeling earlier and then on the drive here I was like am I really going to let that ruin my mood for the rest of the day ruin this whole day that I had planned for myself this whole fun day fun for me full of these errands that I've been wanting to get done, am I going to let that ruin my mood? Because I've been reading The Daily Stoic, which is a book on stoicism. You read like one passage a day. And the one thing stoicism stresses is like, there's some things that I don't really agree with. Some of the passages I'm like, mm, no. But some of the things I'm like, okay, it really stresses that you are in control of your mind. I think even the, the passage today said something along the lines of, your body and your breath are yours, but the only thing that's truly yours is your mind. Meaning your body can get a disease, your body can get injured. You're not really in control of that. You're not really in control of how your body looks, but your mind is like the one thing that you are in control of, be it you have, you know, you don't have some sort of mental illness. Those thoughts that I'm having about my body when I'm getting dressed and that, that confidence is my doing. It's me not being okay with how I look and I'm the one getting myself down. So I'm in total control of how I view myself. I can choose not to feel that way. I can choose not to think those negative things about my body. And yes, that is way harder than it sounds and it takes practice. I really just didn't want to let it ruin my day. So I'm not fully there yet. I'm not like, oh, I can just switch my mindset and I don't believe this because I still, I know I'm not totally there yet, but I just, I think the point I'm trying to make here is that I'm in control of those thoughts and those feelings and I can choose to reframe them and switch them and not let them get to me. The one affirmation that really helps me during these times like this is I know I have a distorted image of my body. I cannot be the judge of my own body. I know that I cannot be the judge of my own body so that's something that I just try and remind myself because how I view myself is not how the world probably views me most likely. Let's go to FedEx and ship that box. 
We just arrived at Whole Foods and I'm very intrigued because I've never been a plant person. I really want to become one, but I know nothing about plants. I have a list of three plants that I'm looking for that I have read are easy to take care of. But besides that, that's all I got, so we'll see. Much larger success than I thought. Honestly, I'm very pleased. That was such a long day. Oh my goodness. I need to hydrate after that. Uh, our plant babies. I have a feeling I'm going to get very invested and attached to them. Like now that I have them, I can see why people love them so much. Um, I need pots and I need to watch some YouTube videos on how to take care of these plants. But the last stop, I got some Thai food because I was so hungry and I did not feel like cooking. I got um, pad thai and some spring rolls. I just finished filming my Sunday reset routine video, which will be live next Sunday. I'm waiting for my water to boil. For my pasta so i thought i'd show you a little update to the apartment because i haven't done that in a while because so if you've been around you may know the desk saga that i have gone through it's not really a saga it's just i've purchased three desks total now so the first one was that little brown one which i actually sold it was just i really liked it but it was just too small for um how much space i need to work and then I got this one. This one's from Ikea, but I got it on Facebook. It's the mom desk. I really like it. I love how thick it is. I love the look of it. Um, the only thing is I wanted a standing desk. And let me tell you why. At first I was going to get a standing desk and then they were really expensive. So I didn't know if I wanted one. Um, and every now and then I just like bring my computer to the island and stand. It's a little low but it works. But then I got a desktop computer from my work. And so if I set that up I'm never, and I'm working on it, I can't bring that to the island. So I'll just have to be sitting every time I'm working on that. So that is where the idea came from of getting a standing desk. Cause I can just put the desktop, desktop computer on there, lift it, lower it without the desk or without the computer without needing to take it off i did a little bit of research and i saw this guy's youtube video i'll leave it down below he reviewed the top sky desk it was pretty affordable it was like 250 dollars um, and it was only the legs so that's a hack that he said like if you buy the legs separate from the top of the desk you can save a little bit of money so i bought the legs and then i got this desk top from Facebook, but I think it's from Ikea. So that was like 50 bucks. So total, it's gonna be like $300. Um, those legs came with it, but I'm not gonna use them. So I just need to set this up. The main reason also why I was avoiding a standing desk was because it wasn't that cute, but I've decided practicality is going to prevail in the den just because I'm in here like all day. So I'd rather be comfortable and practical. Work, this room needs a lot of work too, just like the rest of the apartment, but um it'll it'll work out more to come i'm excited to get art i just don't know where to go online might be my best bet just because i have a wider selection but i'd also i also want to try like thrifting art so if you have any recommendations let me know and with that my water's boiling <laughs>